it's going to be a challenge, but we can do it. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Cruise Man. Just about to head out on a little ride. I know it's kind of strange. I'm starting off from an intersection today. But I just left a friend's house. I think I've mentioned to you before, he and I have lunch every day. So... He goes and picks up something at a drive-thru and then we uh, meet over at his place and have lunch. And I know what some of you are going to say, in the middle of a pandemic you're not supposed to be near anybody else. Well, he and I have pretty much been together almost every day since this all began. And we are very careful to stay six or eight feet away from each other. So. Between he and my girlfriend, those are the only two people that I'm around, and he doesn't have any other friends or not, you know, that he sees on a regular basis. So it's not like he's around other people other than going through a drive through to pick something up. So, really weird times, huh? I've got a couple of announcements I wanted to make real quick and then I'm going to talk to you about a new product uh, that I reviewed recently but the first thing I wanted to mention to you is I got an email from my contact at SoCal Moto Gear and they are the distributor for the Pathfinder LED products and they currently have a 10% discount everything on their website 10% off and free shipping on any order over $49 now that's a pretty good deal and you might want to check out their website I told them I'd pass that information along this video is not sponsored by SoCal Moto Gear they're not paying me to say that I'm just passing the information along to you and of course we still have a 15% discount on any Bond Armor, Bond Body Armor products on their website. I'll put the code on the screen and in the description down below. And those are a couple of deals you might want to look at and take advantage of. When it comes to Pathfinder LED, I love their products for the 2018 Goldwing. I think I had everything they made for the 2012 that I had. And now I think I've got everything that they make for the 2018. But you might want to check out those uh, cowl lights or the driving lights. I have both of those on this bike. As well as the high mount multifunction LED that goes under the trunk rack. Very cool. So those are some things that you might consider. And uh, I've also got my... 2001 to 2017 Goldwing maintenance videos as well as my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos on sale I'll put the link on the screen and in the description down below you basically just use promo code stay safe always have to look even though that ramp they're supposed to yield to me they never do so it's always that's why I always turn my head and look I don't ever rely on my turn on my uh, rear view mirrors I use my rear view mirrors but I never depend on them so I had an opportunity the last couple of days to test a new product that was sent to me it's called an InView Helmet Brake Light. I'll put the name on the screen. I can't remember it right off the top of my head during a motor vlog. I don't remember the official name. But it's uh, from a company called Third Eye Design. And what it is basically is a light that you mount to the back of your helmet. 
and it provides an additional brake light and turn signals on your helmet. Not just a brake light, but a brake light and turn signals. So I unboxed this thing a couple days ago and there's several different parts to the kit that comes with it. Obviously the light itself, which is battery powered with two AAA batteries. And you basically mount that to the back of the helmet using uh, this 3M dual lock fasteners. And you can kind of think of these as a super heavy duty waterproof type of Velcro because you can attach things with them and take them off. And I've used dual lock fasteners in a lot of other places on my Goldwing. You basically mount this light to the back of the helmet and then it comes with a transmitter. I call it a transmitter. It's a module that mounts underneath your seat on a Goldwing. And it basically just wires up to your left turn, right turn, and brake light. And then you have to obviously wire it into some power and a ground. Uh, with a show chrome isolator fuse block, it's real simple. You just put the wires in the appropriate places and it just it's, it's plug and play. It's real simple. And this module apparently communicates with this light wirelessly so that when you apply your brakes, the, the light comes on on the helmet. When you turn on your turn signals, the left half of the light flashes and the right half flashes when you turn on the right turn signal accordingly. And it actually is brighter than what the video shows. Uh, the video, because you can see the brake lights and turn signals of the motorcycle, uh, may not really show how bright this thing really is. Plus, it's sitting up above the bike on your helmet, so it's, it's pretty noticeable. It seems to be very well made. Uh, the module is small enough that it will fit under your Goldwing seat. And of course, this will work with any motorcycle. And they provide you with all of the uh, PosiTap connectors so that if you're riding a motorcycle that does not have a CAN bus wiring system, you could tap right into the existing wires using these PosiTap connectors. And if you do have a CAN bus, you probably have some sort of an isolating fuse block like I've got, and you just wire it in through that. It's real simple to hook up. It also comes with an, a separate wired brake light LED that you hook into this module if you want it. Not so much for a Goldwing, even though you could use it, uh, but let's assume you have a Harley and you don't have very big brake light or tail light. You could put this behind your seat on your Harley. You could basically stick it down with 3M sticky tape. In fact, they give that to you in the kit. And then you'd have uh, like a third brake light right under your seat or behind your seat. And you just attach it to the fender. It's an option. You don't have to install it if you don't want to, but it comes in the kit. It's pretty cool. I tested it out and uh, it seems to install easily. It seems to work fine. They make two different versions of this light. One has a red lens and the other one has a white lens. I actually prefer the look of the one with the white lens. If I was going to critique it, I would say that, number one, it's a little bulky. I guess it has to be because it's got this wireless transmitter receiver inside. It's not real heavy, so it doesn't really add that much weight to your helmet. That's not really an issue. It fit fine on both of my HJC helmets. I was able to test it out, and it looked like it fits fine. The only other thing I would zonk it on would be it's a little expensive. It's $249 retail. But it is an investment. Now, what price do you put on safety? If having this additional light on the back of your helmet could prevent a rear-end collision, 
uh, $250 sounds like a pretty cheap insurance or price for that. So those are just decisions you have to make. Now for Cruise Man's Garage subscribers and followers and viewers, you can get a discount on this light by using a special code and I'm going to put that code on the screen and I'll also put it in the description of this video and I'll put a link to the Third Eye Designs website in the description of the video as well. So for those of you who are interested, uh, go to their website, check it out, and it may be something you're interested in to add to the safety of your motorcycle or your motorcycle riding I should say. That's pretty much my message for today. I'm here at Lowe's. I've got to go in and pick up a couple of stuff, a couple of things. I will be wearing a mask, in case you're wondering. I'm now wearing a mask anytime I go to a public place. And I'm very careful about staying away from people. So uh, I want you guys to do the same thing. Make sure you follow the guidelines. I, I actually wear a balaclava and I just pull it up over my nose. Or actually a gator, not a balaclava, but a gator. I use the buff and I'll put a link to that in the description down below because they're pretty cheap and they're pretty cool and you can use them wear them a lot of different ways so anyway I want you guys to all stay safe I want you to keep washing your hands regularly do all the things they say to do and get your bike ready to ride for the summer because I think this is this stuff is going to be over in a few weeks. I really think it's going to be, we're going to get back to normal. It's going to be a challenge, but we can do it. Things will be back to normal. So now's the time while you're locked down, shut in, in your homes. That's why I did the deal with the videos, the maintenance videos, because now you got a lot of time to work on your motorcycle. I took mine apart today to redo some wiring. I'm trying to clean up my accessory wiring under the seat great time to, for projects like this so anyway thanks again for watching today i'll see you soon on another cruise man's motor vlog if you enjoyed this video please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.